All right, dad bod nine. So you'll see my last heavy squat session before we do this deload. And this was 370 for three triples. Went pretty well. I don't really feel like I need a deload on squats because my squat just tends to improve if I train it at all, while nothing else seems to do that, at least from a powerlifting perspective. Bench press is very difficult for me to improve. So three sets of three this day. Didn't get distracted by the little one because this was an early workout. So everything went really smoothly. And you may notice in some of these clips, the lighting is weird. So we definitely got a bad ballast in the garage, the thing that holds the fluorescent bulbs. And it's been kind of on the way out for a while. I am working on that hopefully within the next week. My father-in-law is incredibly handy, so he's going to be help helping me um, upgrade that. So lighting in here should get a little bit better. There are a lot of little things I would like to do with the garage gym just to make it a little more appealing and just to make things more convenient for myself. So you'll see little things pop up here and there, but for the most part, the garage gym is complete. I do think I'm going to add a mirror behind the squat rack and I'll move that banner that says lift heavy pet dogs. So I'll move that above the squat rack. One negative aspect of doing that, though, would be that Lift Heavy Pet Dogs would not necessarily be shown in the videos, so we'll see what happens. But very thankful to have this garage gym, especially with my current schedule. It's been incredibly busy at work this week, which is good for my paycheck, so I'll take that. But haven't had a lot of free time, and I've kind of needed to leave a little bit early most days, and I've gotten home late a couple days, though yesterday that wasn't the case as I'm recording this on Thursday. I anticipate another busy day today, though I should be in the car for a lot of the day today, so my social meter shouldn't be as depleted as it has been lately. I think a lot of us semi-introverts have kind of a limited social battery. I definitely feel that way about myself. I like having my alone time, which is the main reason I get up, especially early in the morning, it just gives me that time before the training to have my coffee, have some time to myself. If you're out there and you can relate to that, I'm glad you're here. I am recording this on my off day. Again, it's Thursday. I've been watching House of the Dragon. Got a free trial of Max through my YouTube premium membership. So I've wanted to watch it for a while. I read the first two books and if I'm honest, as a sci-fi and fantasy fan especially, I, I liked them, but I didn't love them. Again, I really like the fantasy aspect, and there's not a whole lot of that in the Game of Thrones series. It is mostly about politics and war, and there happen to be fantastical creatures around. That's kind of how I describe it. If you disagree, that's okay. I know a lot of people really love, especially the books. I watched the entire Game of Thrones series on HBO and, like many people, was very disappointed by how it ended. I think that is an almost universal opinion. Yeah, and there's a warning here. This next clip is just weird lighting. Kind of appears to strobe. So if you don't hear this part of the commentary because you skipped it, I understand. And again... Working on improving the lighting out here. And this is the view directly into my kitchen. There's a pull-up bar on the squat rack, and I even have some little handles so I can rotate my grip because it's a little more comfortable. But when I'm doing bench press, I would have to move the bench and the bar just to do that. So I have this pull-up bar that I use. If anybody has wondered about that, that's simply for convenience. And that pull-up bar has held up pretty well, although that door frame has seen better days. So, you know, there's always something looming on the future that I might have to fix. Part of home ownership. And you're just seeing the deload bench press here. Not super exciting, but still want to get it done. And I, there aren't really rules to deloads. Everybody's a little bit different. You could just take a week off. You're unlikely to lose any real strength or muscle mass in a week. And if that's what you preferred to do, that'd be fine. Um, I prefer to still get some training in. And for the hypertrophy stuff, 
I basically just dropped a set. I still kept most of my intensity for these accessory exercises. Just dropped the volume a little. Just trying not to be too sore, but I don't hate training. I don't dread this or anything. So still got these exercises in. And I get a really good stretch on these, like I've said in previous videos. I've never, if I do these this way, I've never really needed to add weight. And I ended up getting such a flattering angle here that makes me look bigger that I recorded both of the sets of hex bar rows here. So you'll see two sets of eight. And this is my usual working weight. Could probably use a little bit more weight. It's pretty difficult to go to failure on an exercise like that because you can kind of just adjust your range of motion whether you realize it or not. At least for me, that's the case. But again, flattering angle. And the shorts in these videos, I know I have a lot of colorful and decorative shorts. They're almost all Lumber Legs brand. I have like eight pairs of shorts from that brand. And I just saw that they have a sale with shorts from 50 to 70% off. So I won't be buying anything this time. This part of the commentary is recorded for my wife. I will not be buying any shorts. And you may hear some grunting in the background here. That is not me. I am generally a pretty quiet lifter. That is Sam Sulik on the TV out of frame. I do enjoy his channel. He just seems like he just seems like a, a chill guy. Um, so I tend to have those on while I'm training out here. I'll have him on or I'll have uh, Renaissance periodization with Dr. Mike and vaguely training videos with a lot of commentary. I don't really get hyped up for training. That's just not my style. Even if I'm going for like a max squat or deadlift, I prefer more of a calm approach. That's just basically my disposition in life. And I've tried to hype myself up before and it just didn't really make any difference. So that's just my preferred approach. And if I'm training accessories at home, this is almost always the triceps exercise I do. It requires no setup except for sliding these straps into about shoulder width from the outside. So this is my second set going into my mechanical drop set, which is just close grip push-ups, just like in the last accessories video. And then I just go until I'm pretty much at failure. I think I get eight reps on push-ups here too. Because I only rested probably 20 seconds there. Basically went straight into these. And then up next you'll see the Y raises for shoulders, calf raises for calves, and then ab wheel rollout for abs. I'll stick around for this one since we're almost to the end. Might as well keep commentary all the way through the video this time. Here's Y raises. It's difficult to get a great angle for recording this video because my wife's car is right behind me. But you get the idea, I think. And the shirt I'm wearing is for Trim Tab Brewing. It's a really good brewery in Birmingham. I'm only 20 minutes or so from there. And having the outside area and having these places be kid-friendly has been great as parents for a now toddler. Uh, she loves being outside, so going to these places, we can have a drink, relax, and safe for the baby. Toddler. Not used to that yet. Still a baby to me. Seeing my calf raises here, just holding a 35-pound plate, and you can kind of see the leg of the bench here where I'm standing. Again, just perfect height. And I'm usually wearing notorious lift deadlift slippers for the whole training session. I squat in these two. Uh, they're extremely comfortable. You can slip them on. No reason not for no reason for me to not wear these during training, really. And if I'm honest, I wear them out too. If I'm wearing shorts and we're going somewhere and I just want to slip on some shoes, I'll wear these just as my wife has pointed out. You definitely need to wear socks with them because they will stink. And this will be the last exercise in the video. 
12 ab wheel rollouts, two sets. And then for the last two, I pause at full extension. So that's pretty much it for this episode of Dad Bod. Please like, share, and subscribe if you liked it. And don't if you didn't. I appreciate it.